Real good thing. Now tell us what you're doing here. Uh, this is Dewey Godfrey. What are uh, we're in the Remington showroom at the National Shooting Complex. Uh, tell us what you're doing here. We just are open, had the building open and uh, I worked for Remington for 32 years. I retired in 1992. I'm getting fairly old in my lifespan. <laughs> uh, I, the first mm -hmm. consecutive world shoot I went to was 1965 in Savannah, Georgia, and I haven't missed one since. So, and, uh, wow, that's wonderful. And uh, I don't necessarily mm -hmm. sh shoot in them all. I haven't shot in the last five. I'm kind of like a 1100 shotgun. Mm -hmm. As long as I keep making parts, mm -hmm. I'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, now that was an interesting way to, to put in a plug for the company gun. That's right. <laughs> that I was mean, pretty. When, I think you, when you've got a uh, <laughs> replaced knee, a replaced hip, and you've got a zipper in your chest, you've got a pacemaker there, and you've had a heart attack, you, you're thankful to be here. <laughs> well, I, well, tell us about some of the products that you have here for skeet shooters. What are the um, skeet shooters wanting to come in and look at? The STS target loads and um, the lead hunter still built. It's been around for, since. 1963, uh, and uh, they come in. And they're just, you know, we're here. And you know, a lot of them. And a lot of the guys are uh, old. A lot of them are young, and uh, it's fun to shoot, but it's also fun to see the people. Uh, that's right. why you keep coming back, is the people. And uh, so, and Lord willing, I'll be back next year. <laughs> that's great. Uh, Tell us about this. Is are this these your new is, shot uh, shells? Wayne Mays brought these two shells in. And he told me the reason that he had 200 straight in the uh, 410 event was these were his personal customized shells. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Wayne does have uh, 200 straights in the 410 event, and that's yes. the most in the book. Yes. And, uh, he holds a world uh, record for that. Yeah, right. It probably took him three hours to make those two shells. <laughs> Don't be coming here and throw at me. <laughs> it uh, it uh, was a talking piece, and if you know Wayne, he's got to have something to talk about. But uh, been a shooter a long time. This is, I'm Ken Rucker. This is Speed Bump Stockworks. We do bump buster recoil systems, auto buster recoil systems, adjustable combs, adjustable pad plates, and recoil pads. Uh, and tell us why you're at the World Shoot. Why well, I am always here. This is my full-time place of business in this shop at the shooting complex. I, I came down here, I lived in North Texas and I drove back and forth down here every time there was a big shoot for a long time and got a chance to move down here and be in this building full-time and that's what I do. So even though a lot of other people have permanent showrooms here, they're not here they're 365, not, no, but not. you are. We've done so like any kind of problem I had with my shotgun this week, you could fix it, huh? If, if, it, <laughs> if it deals with the stock, okay. I don't do any mechanical right. repairs or, or regular gunsmithing, mm -hmm. but I do So what anything. kind of problems might someone have that they would bring for you to take oh, care of during gun, the world shoot? I do gun fits all the time. I've done probably 15 recoil systems this week while the people were shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, I do adjustable combs while the shoots are going on. Somebody got a gun don't fit, they need a comb cut. We can do it in about, usually about two hours and have it back to them and they can go barely mm -hmm. on their way. Now what method of stock fitting do you the do? adjustable elements that go on the stock. Okay. Adjustable butt plates, adjustable recoil systems, adjustable combs. Okay. And fit the, the customer's actual gun to them. And that's important. Yeah. That's very important. So, okay, tell me about your product. Tell me about Bump Busters. Okay, well, the Bump Buster is a spring over hydraulic recoil reduction system. Uh, it comes two ways, either with an adjustable pad plate on the back or without. Mm -hmm. It's adjustable for length of pull. It's adjustable for recoil tension. Uh, it is one of the... the best add-on recoil systems that, that there is on the market. And this is a patented product, right? It's, this is mine. It's, it's copyrighted. It's not patented. Oh, you can't, okay. You can't patent these things because they're too easy to get around the patent and it costs too much money. But uh, we do this on all the all the break-open shotguns, double barrels, over and unders, single barrel trap guns, and also have a model of this for high-powered rifle. So a lot of guys that are going to Africa have these on their safari with a, rifles. Yes, with a very high powered rifle. That would uh, that would help. We also we also mm -hmm. powder coat them in pretty nearly any color combination you want. This is one of our more popular patterns with the red, white, and blue. And 
this little system we call an auto buster. I developed this for semi-automatic with minimal stock protrusion because you don't have a lot of room in the stock on mm -hmm. them. Uh, Remington has bought this from us. This is on the, the Remington Competition Synthetic that has, it comes with a Jack West stock and, and this recoil system from the factory from Remington. Now I can see that on a synthetic stock that would mm -hmm. really be helpful. Mm -hmm. Well, we sell nothing but uh, Randolph Ranger uh, shooting glasses. Uh, we sell them in prescription and non-prescription. Mm -hmm. We have uh, we have a number of different styles, different colors, do different things, uh, uh, different features, frames. We do a lot of prescription work here. We have mm -hmm. we have a lab right on site. So, so you could do that for me this week. Yeah. Oh yeah. We've cut probably forty to fifty prescription lenses this week here. So, oh good. So yeah, we can make them here. Uh, somebody mm -hmm. comes in, they want a purple lens. Uh, you know, tint them purple, whatever colors they want. There's just an assortment of different colors that you can choose from. You know, um, you know we have different, they, they come in clear like this. They come in clear blanks. And then when we get done with them, cut, finish, and And you do all that here? We do it all here. At yeah. the World Shoots. At the World Shoots, yeah. So that's one of the benefits of coming on site now. So you can come mm -hmm. to the event and actually get your, get your glasses right on site. That's yeah. pretty special. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where we have a mobile lab, we go to some shoots, but uh, mm -hmm. we have a permanent site here, and so it really works out well. We now have people actually walking in with their prescriptions because they know we're here, and so they bring their, they bring so, their prescriptions. So I have to hear how you do that. Okay. Well, how, do you do? Turn, how do you turn this <laughs> into this? Well, the, every lens has a certain prescription in it, and so I have, I have to talk to the patient, mm -hmm. uh, find out what their needs are, or are they right, you're left-handed, uh, do, do, do they crawl their gun or you know are they more stationary upright so once I determine what their needs are I find out what their prescription is um, they can either bring me their prescription or um, I can read the prescription right off the current glasses mm -hmm. so then once I do that then I have blanks I have thousands of thousands upon thousands of lens blanks and stock mm -hmm. and uh, once I find out what the prescription is then we go through a process of marking them up and then we go through a process of cutting and tinting. I'll show you that if you like. Okay, I'd love to see that. So, so here I have a lens blank with a, mm -hmm. I have a patient's prescription in it. I already know the shape that I want. And so then I put it on, I put it on my machine. I'll just show you how we cut one here quick. So you put it on here like this. I know you'll be editing this, right? Yes. Okay. So then what, what I do is I put that on there and I, I like to put little protective covers on. Okay. Then mm -hmm. I make sure it's the right lens. Mm -hmm. R means right for me and as I don't get confused, I put it in here and I just go and I tell the machine what I want it to do, you know, for this particular patient, what okay. shape I want, what size I want and things like that. And then What's going to happen now is this is going to come down and actually cut that length. It takes maybe 60 seconds to cut it. Then when it's done cutting, I'll take it out and it'll be cut down to the shape that I'll right. cut it. Right. So then once I get done that process, then I bring it over here. This is really messy. But here is where we actually do the tinting. We have different colored tints. Like mm -hmm. if somebody wanted a purple, we have purple, uh, ver uh, vermilion, we have yellow, any, pretty mm -hmm. much any color tint that somebody okay. would like. So, But that's the process. Then then we go through a series of fitting and notching, and mm -hmm. that's it. You know. Well, it's pretty fascinating to me that you do the coloring here. I would have assumed that you started with a color blank and then cut that. Yeah, we actually, we actually start with a clear blank, similar to this. And it, and it has it has a um, pre-arranged prescription right on it, and it comes in clear mm -hmm. and then like I said then by the time we're done and I'll show you in a, by the time we're done then we, we tend to come up okay. with the colors that we need so it's pretty interesting we that's very have, interesting we have the only mobile lab in the entire country so really yeah, yeah sporting plays magazines so play shooting USA they all they've all done articles we've been very blessed with that mm -hmm. so but yeah we, we, we do prescriptions we that, that is really yeah. interesting <laughs> 
so is the uh, is the tinting like on the surface? Is it yes. done to the surface? Yes, in a prescription lens, all tinting is done on the surface okay. except for uh, certain colored lenses like cop polarized lenses. And polarized right. blanks come pre-tinted. And, and mm -hmm. again, I'll show you an example of a, of a polarized lens. So, you know, this person wants a polarized lens, so it actually came pre-tinted. And then, okay. you know, we, and then you cut it. Yeah, the prescription, mm -hmm. we, we ordered this with the prescription ground into it. So, mm -hmm. in this case, he wanted three, four different colors. So, I had to order three or four different blanks. Mm -hmm. So, some of the blanks we have here in stock and some, some we have to, uh, some we have to uh, actually order. And mm -hmm. that's what, all these are ones that I didn't have in stock and I had to order. So, I, I have to cut them. So. Well, I have to say, I'm really impressed that we have this ability at the World Shoot. Yeah, it, I, I think it's a unique situation, I really do. Um, to actually come in, be able to give your prescription to somebody, and an hour or two walk away. And with get exactly the tent you want. Yeah. yeah, and to get them, when you get them on site, you know, not only get exactly what you want, but you get to, you get to put them on and you get to go out and see mm -hmm. exactly what you're going to see yes. on site. Whereas if you do the mail order, you know, uh, you might get them, they might work, they might not work. You have to send them back. You know, so. And this is about as close to the skeet field as you could buy a pair of yeah. glasses, I well, think. We, we walk right out in the field mm -hmm. with them and just say, okay, the, the purples do this or the mm -hmm. yellows do this, and they get to see what it does. And so they feel a lot more confident, you know, about right. uh, what they're buying. So it's a, well, a hands-on, and they can make a better choice and better decisions. Well, so. I'm very impressed. Well, thank you. I'm thank you so much for, for yeah. walking us through this oh, process. Yeah, it was welcome. very interesting. You're welcome. If you, if you